Hello and welcome back to another guide on Mass Effect 3 multiplayer from Rogdon Gaming. Now that you've been familiarized with the different characters that you can create and your options in doing so, we'll take a look at the enemies that you can encounter. The first enemy we're going to look at are Cerberus operatives. Cerberus are nimble, but have low health. Cerberus troops include Centurions that can lay down smoke fields. Guardians, which can block all frontal attacks, unless you can fire through the little hole between their shield. Nemesis, which are agile snipers. The Atlas, a powerful mech, which is best destroyed using rocket launchers for heavy weapons. Phantoms, sword-wielding opponents that do incredible damage even at range, but have very low defenses. Engineers are capable of deploying turrets. However, unless an engineer has not yet deployed a turret or is repairing an atlas, they are not particularly dangerous. The actual turrets are more tricky to deal with. Turrets have a set timer on when they may fire and have a maximum distance that they can fire. However, the damage that they conflict is enough to drop most characters. Therefore, it is imperative to remain in cover while it is firing, and only return fire when it is finished. Unlike in single player, shield guardians cannot be lifted with singularity from the front. However, shockwave and throw can be used to blow away their shields. The next enemy we'll look at are Geth. Geth are slow moving and have huge heads. Geth commonly use shields, and so overload is a good ability to use against them. The initial Geth that you encounter, the Geth troopers, do not have shields. However, Geth hunters, Geth pyros, and Geth rocket troopers all have shields that overload can be used with abandon on. Geth Pyros, as you may have guessed, have flamethrowers, and to defeat them, it's best to keep your distance. Geth Hunters are capable of stealth, so pay attention for shimmering fields when you're fighting this type of enemy. While Rocket Troopers are capable of inflicting large pools of damage, they are nowhere as near as dangerous as Ravagers. And of course, the final enemy type is the massive Geth Prime. Geth Primes are capable of summoning combat drones. Destroy them to prevent yourself from being overwhelmed. If the Geth Prime drone is left alone long enough, it will summon up a turret. It will keep summoning turrets until they are destroyed. Once you've removed the shield on the Geth Prime, target its big huge head to inflict additional damage. The third and final type of enemy are Reapers. The initial troop are cannibals. They are slow moving and cannot dodge and have heads placed in the middle of their body, making them prime targets to raise your experience through headshot methods. If cannibals get the opportunity, they'll eat the fallen. Regardless of whether or not they succeed, they will always make the attempt, making them susceptible to attack while they're doing so. If they succeed, they will gain armor plating and restore their health. The type of enemy are husks. If they manage to engage you in melee combat, they will stun you in position, making you vulnerable to attack. While you can break out of this combat by rapidly tapping the melee key, you will still be vulnerable for that period of time that you are stuck. The third type of enemy is a marauder. Marauders are shielded organics. If left to their own devices, marauders will use their ability to empower other enemies with armor plating. However, when they do so, they are vulnerable. The fourth type of enemy is a brute. It's a huge armored behemoth. Brutes have no ranged attack, but have a powerful melee ability. The first time that you strike a brute in the head, he will rear up, and he will guard his head from there on. The fifth type of enemy is a banshee that has barriers and armor and can use adapt type abilities. It has a powerful ranged attack 
that it can fire at you that will home in on your location. When Banshees activate the barrier aura around them, it means that they will start charging for your location. Avoid them at all costs. As if they manage to stand adjacent to you, they'll do a grab attack that will kill you instantaneously. When they intend to make a stand, they will release their aura and damage everyone around them. Also capable of one-hit kills are the Brews, though having them do this is considerably more rare. And finally, and arguably the most dangerous enemy, are the Reaper Artillery. The Ravagers fire a volley of three missiles in the direction that their blue lines are going. While this may appear initially easy to avoid, if you are caught unawares, you will quickly find yourself lying on the ground. Also, attempting to run by their line of sight is typically a suicide mission. Unlike most enemies, Ravagers do not have any weak points. When Ravagers are destroyed, or their fleshy sacks are blown away, spawn miniature swarmers that will hunt you down and attack you, preventing you from regenerating your shields. They will also leave a pool of acid on the floor that will hurt your character if you stand in it. This completes our walkthrough on the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer enemies. This is Commander Rogden. Thanks for watching.